what's up what's good what's going on Sagittarius so let's take a look at this Monday or day one energy um if you guys I hope that you all caught the weekly preview if not I'll link it up here um this is a part of the playlist as well let's see what energy oh guys Sagittarius sun moon rising north node November the 27th of 2019 could be very significant for you Sag um, but, uh, this is going to be for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, north node, Venus, as well as that ninth house placement, very particular messages for your ninth house here on the Manjula awakening. However, even with that being said, these are general messages. So please just take what resonates for you and bless someone else with the rest. Okay. All right, spirit. What is the archetype that Sagittarius is meeting this day with? Um, we do have the oracles for the um, uh, situation for the day being clean it up, the challenge here being death, and the lesson here for the day is friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So we have Sagittarius being in this King of Swords energy. And with the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, this is like Sagittarius scrutinizing every single detail, really looking at it. Um, being open to it. Now, what I do like with this particular King of Swords is his sword is down. So he's not just all about just speaking the truth and um, getting things said. He is listening here, which is why it's even more clear to me that someone is paying attention to the details. Um, let's see how that's working in your favor, because I feel like that paying attention to the details, there's something that you may see um, that let, that alerts you to see that there really are like, damn, I can't unsee this. And because I can't unsee it, there are some things that must be ended. Like I can't keep moving forward um, against my better judgment, against my higher self. You know what I'm saying? Um no matter what label or attachment I've given to it, the lesson here is to understand that there was a reason for this situation or this person here, this friendship. There was a reason for it. But at this time, it is time to move forward. I will hear you out, but I still have to do what is best for my highest good. So I do feel like today, Sagittarius, that um, you could be faced with having to um, sever ties with someone. And I feel like that you're being encouraged to do this in a very compassionate way, as well as um, just don't beat yourself down and don't beat this other person down. Just understand that it happens for a reason. You know, there is no mistakes. There is no mistakes so with you are what you think. Don't allow yourself to, like those negative thoughts. They're going to really put you in a negative mind space here today. But let's jump in and see how we can break this down with the oracles. Guys, if you're still with me, if three minutes in um, and resonating, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Uh, help circulate these messages to other Sagittarians in need. And I'm looking forward to you guys' feedback for sure on this new a weekly preview. And then the seven-day breakdown. I'm looking forward to the feedback on that as well, Sag. So let's see. What's the situation? The chat. What is the... Um, show me what's going on for Sagittarius today. What's top of the order? Uh, what is the opportunity inside of this situation? And then also, what is the challenge inside of this situation? And then what is the way through it? Give me one moment. So let's see, Sagittarius. Let's get into it. So we have the King of Cups, the Judgment, the Knight of Cups, and the Sun card. My, 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 Sagittarius. Um, what's at the bottom? Ten of Wands. I definitely feel like some baggage is being put down here. I do. Here's what I'm going to say, Sag. If I'm just going to be honest with you, I feel like that there is a King of Cups energy. This is most definitely a person. And I do feel like that this person at one point in time, you guys have, like, there's romantic feelings between the two of you all here in this situation. Um, But 
This is also telling me that it is a challenge because at one point in time, the emotional aspect of this connection was unrequited. So this person has been showed face to be emotionally manipulated to here. This um, could be a, a water sign for sure. Um, we do have Scorpio and Leo here on the board, but take this as it resonates, guys. Um, there's some type of transformation that is taking place inside of this connection. There is an ending that is taking place inside of this connection. The opportunity, though, is to have a there is a there is an opportunity for forgiveness. There is an opportunity for um, to be set free. You know what I'm saying? There is. Um, and but it 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 does require this energy of. There's something about the way that it was unrequited in the past and the way that it affected you. Um, but the way through this is the sun card. This is the happiest card in the entire deck. This is something coming to light. This is happiness being illuminated. It's something along that lines. This is what's this is the way through. Like, yes, yes. This person may try to address you in a very, um, I don't know, like romantic type of way. And it's like, damn, like, bro, we're not even our sus. We're not even here. Like, we got some shit to do. We got some shit to talk about, some stuff to clean up. You know what I'm saying? But instead of approaching it from this, who do you think you are? Why do you think you're getting ready to come at me like that? Yeah, like you forget that you just did this and this and this and that is to focus on your happiness because you are the underlying energy here is to understand that you are what you think here, right? Which is the sun card as well. So I am going to think about this from a happy, optimistic perspective, and I'm going to then formulate my goals and my plans and my actions from that perspective instead of this bitter um angry perspective feeling like don't we i'm supposed to forget you left me out here in the cold you burnt all my shit to the ground and then left me to handle this on my own you know what i'm saying like there's something like that here in this energy today for you sagittarius um but the opportunity is for forgiveness here there is the opportunity to extract the lessons and do some forgiveness, do some communicating and making a final decision to move forward in a different light here. Seven minutes in. We don't want to drag these out too long. Because I did decide not to consider this the daily increase. I did. All right, Spirit. What's, what's, what's going on here? Just a little bit, not too much. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Cups again in the Hierophant. So I do feel like that someone is... Um, mm, Honestly, I feel like that someone is going to try to offer you a commitment, even knowing that they don't have the capacity right now to offer the commitment. And this, the capacity could, could just literally come at the um, rate of, are they actually willing to put the work in on a commitment that is needed for a commitment? I don't see it here in the cards, but I do feel like that this person is coming to make an emotional play to seem like they want this commitment here. They, there is some type of offer of a commitment coming from this Knight of Cups here, and it's almost like it's faded. Because with this offer, which is why Spirit is saying that you have to clean up your perception. You have to, it's good that you're in the energy. Like you already feel like I'm already on the growth, the path to growth. I don't, I'm not in the same mind space or um, emotional space that I was in the past. So I am in a different place where I'm at least willing to listen. So that's beautiful. And that works for you on this day, Sagittarius. However, there's still a need to be willing to set those firm boundaries and clean up the way that we're setting those firm boundaries. Because what this is telling me, while this person may approach you from a romantic 
and, um, you know, passionate perspective, it is faded because it gives you the opportunity to really overcome obstacles. It's like you've been at this crossroads for far too long. And through this faded um, communication with this person, um, it, it's going to allow you an opportunity to really balance a situation out here. You see, there are two people that are um, performing here. But it looks as if this energy here is only focused on one person, meaning that this person here has some ulterior motives and there's something else that is benefiting off of what they're doing that you're not either it's it's you're seeing it or you're just not and you're not fully aware of it or you just are at the point that it doesn't matter, which is where spirit needs you to be, because this will give you an opportunity to balance this situation out and overcome these obstacles so that you can move forward in operating and wholeness without allowing this person to serve as a crack in your foundation. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like you've stood at this crossroads for far too long here. But I will say this. I do feel like that there are some delays because I feel like that there's lack of planning because I still feel like that there's this sense of hurtness and devastation that is blocking forward movement here. Let's look at this judgment really quick here, Spirit. Because judgment is the opportunity here. So let's see. Because I do feel like that you can reestablish and recalibrate a friendship here. Um, but I do feel like that there are some burdens that have to be, yeah, the past burdens, the past baggage must be, it needs to be put down in order to really and truly have the outcome that is possible here. What is the judgment here for Sagittarius spirit? So we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Wow. And the Two of Swords here. Yeah. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is very jealous, revengeful like energy. And so I feel like that um, this healing, the Ten of Swords in the reverse is releasing the pain. And I feel like that there is pain that is still there that must be released in order to move forward from this revengeful like energy. Even it, 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 it and, and, you know. This judgment here isn't giving me like public judgment. This is like, damn, let me sit here and do my mirror work. You know what I'm saying? And even if my mirror work turns into a conversation with this person, at least I'm able to do it from a less emotionally or less raw emotional perspective, right? 12 minutes in, let's get the sun card and then we'll close this bad boy up. Spirit, can you please clarify the sun card for Sagittarius for the way through this situation here for their day? So we have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So this is a vest. This is get, become curious about your control issues, your control issues, other people's control issues. But either way it goes, allow your light to be so vibrant and focus only on the happiness that it has no options like. Anybody that encounters Sagittarius, when they're in this optimistic perspective, it shows where you're being narcissistic or other people are being narcissistic and controlling. And with the Nine of Pentacles, some, it's like there is some type of an illumination happening here on um, somebody's control issues and someone's like someone is codependent on being in control here. Right. So I feel like that as long as you stay in your high vibra vibrations, it automatically illuminates that you don't have to um, do the pointing out like, hey, look, look at them, look at them. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is um, figure out where you fit in, get in where you fit in, Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? And if they try, if you get in and they try to push you out, gracefully go on somewhere else. But either way it goes, your light is going to shine so brightly that some control issues are going to be illuminated. Now, be mindful that I do want you to know that this could be control issues that you may have. 
That spirit is saying, if you begin to focus on your happiness and what it is that you truly want to do, you'll begin to become curious of like, damn, what, I wonder why I was being so controlling right there. What was making me do that? And then it, healing will begin to take place because we have to ask those tough questions in order to really be able to do the healing that is needed here. Okay. So that's what I feel like the message is for today for Sagittarius. I hope this offered you some guidance. All right, Sagittarius, um, let's see what your closing message is. Spirit, what is the closing message here for the Sagittarius Ninth House Collective? You are ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes um, you have been contemplating. Wow. And look, possibilities came out. Focus your attentions on what could go right. When you learn to imagine the base case scenario, you get to enjoy the experience twice. I say, I say, I say. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what's the pleasant message here? Thank you, Spirit. Unfolding according to your will. Change me, divine beloved, into one who lets you guide things according to your will. May the highest unfold in all ways. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have sacred self. I know I am love. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows my true worth in every moment. Let me experience that I am love. My own sacred self will always draw kindred spirits. All right, Sagittarius, I absolutely love you. And I hope that this offered you the guidance that you need on your day. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.